Well, hi, this is Tony, and welcome to the first video and what we're opening here on our website called CBLU, or CBL University. It's where we're going to try and answer some questions we hear a lot coming from new riders and help them understand parts of cycling and getting used to cycling that uh, maybe there are terms they've seen thrown around or things they've seen done um, that they don't understand. So the first thing today is um, during this time of year, it's December in Oklahoma, and you see a lot of people talking about getting base rides in or group rides doing base. Uh, and you'll see a mile per hour thrown out there, like 18 or 19 miles per hour. And you probably wonder, why are they picking that mile per hour? What does that mean? What's the big deal? And so base is basically part of uh, Joe Friel, a guy who started training environment. And there's two different kinds of training he has in larger blocks. The first one's called base, which is general fitness. The second one is called build, which is specific fitness. The specific fitness is focused on whatever kind of race or goals or ride you want to do throughout the year. Those rides could be a 100 mile century ride. It could be a 60 minute criterium. So high intensity or long endurance. And depending upon those two things, you'll have a different build period. But no matter what kind of race or event you do, you have a very similar base period because when it comes to general fitness, you wanna focus on the same kind of things no matter what kind of rider you are. So with that general fitness, there's endurance, which is focused on your cardiovascular system. It's a matter of increasing your body's ability to process oxygen through your muscles and give you strength and efficiency as you ride. Another one is force or strength, which has to do with lifting weights or climbing. So you'll see a lot of cyclists lifting weights or getting into the gym this type of year to increase the maximum strength their legs have, then through longer rides, translating that into endurance. So it's both quick twitch and slow twitch kind of training. Those, these kind of rides, these base kind of rides are not focused on intensity yet. Because again, we don't know what kind of build phase you want to have because your goals can be very different from another kind of rider. So it's not so much about intensity as it is duration, a longer ride, trying to stress your heart, but not go anaerobic, not go so hard you can't talk when you're on the ride anymore. Um, it's this time of year. Why are we doing these kind of rides this time of year? Well, this is kind of the off season, whether you're a professional in Europe or a person who races or does rides during this time of year. As it gets colder, you see less tour or touring or charity rides. You see a lot less road races or criteriums. Those tend to happen more March and on in the year. So right now is a three to four month block where a lot of cyclists, even though it's a little cooler outside, are looking to get longer, slower rides in to build their base back up, build that general fitness of endurance and strength back up before they start piping on the intensity. So it happens very consistently this time of year um, to stay on the bike. It's one of the most important times of year to stay on the bike because uh, the larger base or general fitness you build it gives you the ability to do the higher intensity stuff later on in the year. Your ability to recover and do six hard intervals in a workout or in a race is dependent upon your cardiovascular system and the strength you've built. Um, so what does a base ride look like? Um, Joe Friel is, another, again, a guy who's built a lot of the training around this kind of uh, training regimen, base, build, and then peak and race, um, suggests you stay in what's called zone two. Now what's zone two? Below I've included some links to help you calculate what that looks like. Um, there's a point by which your uh, body goes from being able to use oxygen effectively to having to use lactate or part of the energy systems in your muscles. It's called your lactate threshold. So your zones are calculated upon where your lactate threshold is. There's ways to test for that and I'm again including the links below. But zone two is considered an aerobic ride. It's at that upper end of what you can ride and keep endurance going on. Uh, but it's not so hard that you can't talk while you're riding. Um, so a zone two ride for a lot of people ends up being between 18 and 20 miles an hour where they can ride comfortably for three to six hours for a long ride. Again, the longer you go, the more you stress that system and you end up in that kind of pace. So that's why a base ride is considered a little slower. It's not focused as much on intensity, but you don't want it too slow because then you're just kind of out riding. You're not really developing that cardiovascular system, but you should be able to talk while you do that ride and the stress you feel at the end of the ride is fatigue on breathing, fatigue on that cardiovascular system. And the reason sometimes a base group ride is difficult is because the general fitness presented across people in the group can be varied greatly. There's some people who 16 miles an hour is the upper end of their zone two, and there's some elite racers whose lower end of zone two is gonna be 20 miles an hour. Because as the body gets more efficient, it also gets stronger. And that's one of the incredible things about the human body, but the general fitness can be broad. So as you're going to a base ride, just make sure you know what your ability is for a longer ride like that, 50, 60, 70, maybe 100 miles. What can you hold and be comfortable at? And make sure the base ride you go to, you can keep up with 
um, uh, as you go on that group ride. But that's what base means. It means general fitness. It means focusing on cardiovascular endurance and force and strength. So you also see a lot of base people, base riders going out through the hills, staying seated the whole time, working on strength, maybe a slower cadence, because they're working on cardiovascular uh, fitness and they're working on their strength. And so that's just a real quick uh, video, a real quick explanation of what base means, of base riding, why it's this time of year, what it means for you as a cyclist. It's really the most important riding you do all year. And again, below we have a ton of links that take you to how to calculate those things and read up more on what it means. Thanks for coming by. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments uh, below on the post here. We'd be happy to answer your questions.